One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Scorecards presented by Cigar Boxing. Y'all thought I was done. Y'all thought I was gone. I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. Like I said, I gotta keep it 100 always, but before I start this video, let me give respect to Blood Boxing. Blood Boxing talked about this a little bit in one of his videos a few months ago. I did a little more investigation to bring up Something that I think I would love to see from some of you uploaders. Scorecards is where, as fans, sometimes we get upset at the judges' scorecards. So we need to present our own scorecards and you know, what we thought of the fight. I know some of you would love to have discussions on this, but Blood Boxing brought this up first. I'm just reiterating it, you know, trying to bring some clarity. I know some of us are fanboys and some of us, we just choose one side or the other. But for those of us who love the sweet science and love the sport, this is our opportunity to explain why we thought a fighter won a fight, especially in a close decision. With Canelo versus Golovkin coming up and that possibly going to a decision, this is what I thought was a good time to bring this out and talk about it especially with all the confusion over the fights that we've had the last few months, especially with Kovalev versus Ward 1 and who you thought won the fight, or Pacquiao versus Horn and who you thought won that fight. A lot of us say who we thought won that fight, but don't explain why we gave a fighter a round. I just can't depend on the judges as a fan. We should have our own scorecards. So let me help you out. For those of you who have an Android phone, you know, Samsung or whatever, and the software is Android, the best app that I've seen to have your own scorecard to judge during a fight is OBR, Open Boxing Scorecards. The symbol looks like this in the Google Play Store. It's yellow and black. And that is the best scorecard I have seen. So, and that was suggested by Blood Boxing. For those of you who have an iPhone, the best app I've seen for a boxing scorecard has got to be Fight Score, as you see right here. It looks like a chalkboard and it has the numbers 10 and 9 on it. And if you go in the Apple App Store, you can find it if you type in Fight Score. In there, you will find the app to judge fights. It's the best one I've seen so far. So I'm just making the suggestions. I will put up my scorecard after Canelo versus Golovkin, and I will start to do it more repeatedly with more and more fights. Cause we get it twisted sometimes. Sometimes we become too too much of a fanboy, a fangirl of a certain fighter, and we don't explain why we thought a fighter won the fight, especially with so many bad decisions going on as of late. So as fans, let our voice be heard. Give our own scorecards. And some of you message me at cigarboxing at gmail.com because I would love to rescore old fights with you and put up our own scorecards and have healthy discussions about boxing. Just like I have something called Scorecards Legends, where I go back and rescore old fights and see what y'all think. First up, especially with a great middleweight fight coming up, let's go back in history. Trinidad versus Hopkins in 2001.
And now it's time for our main event. Felix Trinidad against Bernard Hopkins. It was September 18th, 1999, when Trinidad, in the welterweight division of 147 pounds, won a majority decision over Oscar De La Hoya. Can he now defeat Bernard Hopkins, a middleweight champ with 13 title defenses? We'll see coming right up.